best in the game. Still dangerous, goodness gracious, move like the Gracie brothers. Do I pay me something? Fed everybody, they don't save me nothing. Still back to the bone from fetus. Them man move misleading. Choco, check if he's breathing. Nah, Jeff, I don't think he's breathing. Gully bop, them weave, man leaning. Last man that tried, they're freaking. Don't talk too much, no more speaking. Man, free man, and man, man still scheming. No threats to protect my cleaners. Creep them, beat it, catch man sleeping. So the beefing thing's not needed, but I had big, big man turn Jesus. Take shots at me. I've got 101 ops on me. All right, coming up next, a UFC Phantom Weight Division fight. Maybe if I had another chance, I'm going to give another chance to you. So the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. You've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter is. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're on your danger the entire time. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Got him with his hip into that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Just over three minutes now to go. Wow, actually got the takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Keep your hands up and keep well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Over and over, he lands a big body kick. Great punch. Liver kick. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Big shots being landed on both sides here. He 
has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Nice body. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. But he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through it. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody...